had an opportunity, which not very many people have, of starting a program from scratch and getting a building more or less to our specifications. There was, of course, as always, the bottom line. Um, but we were able to specify some things about accessibility in the building, uh, a computer lab, which really puzzled a lot of people. What would we do with a computer lab? Remember, this is back late 80s. Um, we, the building's had some modifications since, and that, I guess, is a sign of, yes, the program's changed, so the building has to change too. But it was when it opened, uh, well ahead of its time. Norma West would have to be one front and center because the position she occupied as matron of the Rockhampton Base Hospital, uh, her support was key in getting us going. There was also, uh, the first staff were really key to getting the whole thing going as well. They came from a variety of different backgrounds. Um, I counted up and when we had the uh, 1990 opening of the building, there were something like 32 staff in the nursing health science area, no two of whom had ever worked together before. Uh, because I came from Canada, there were two or three that I knew about there who we brought over. Uh, there was one from the Punjab in India, there were people from the UK, there were people from the US, uh, people from, uh, let me think now, where did the others come from? People from Australia, I mean we weren't totally devoid of Australians. But we were limited in the number of Australians because uh, New South Wales and Victoria had changed their programs already and so they scooped up a lot of the Australians who might otherwise have been candidates for coming here. So we had to, to get our own, so to speak. And then we grew our own too because with the post-RN program, the graduates of that program very often became teachers or at least clinical supervisors in our program. So it was an interesting job of uh, mix and match. I broke my hip a few years ago, and who's the first person I see looking down on me is one of our grads, <laughs> which I guess happens if you're in a place like Rockhampton because um, it's a small city still and you get to know everybody. And so I was very glad that it was our grads. <laughs>